Hello guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today I'm trying to be a bit quicker than usual. So let's start right off with the first question. Is it bad practice to rely on code autocomplete features provided by your IDE? Asked by an undergraduate student. And the short answer is, no, it's not a bad idea. Otherwise, the autocomplete features wouldn't be in your IDE. To give you a quick story though, in one of my first projects, I had a colleague who used the autocomplete features like so, so you type the class name, dot, and the window pops up with the methods, big classes, many methods, and he never knew what to type. He just took his mouse wheel and scrolled through the list, through the window of methods, and then after a while, after a long while, he found the method he wanted to call, and that's it. And I found that to be rather funny because he didn't, he, it didn't seem like he knew what he wanted to write, and I think if you're using autocomplete features like that and using your mouse to scroll through windows, then maybe you should do something differently in the future. But other than that, yes, use your autocomplete features. All right, question number two. Coming back to Java after two years, what's new? Now, obviously the Java ecosystem is quite stable, so you'll still find Spring, yes, Maven, yes, Gradle, Hibernate, whatever you'll find there's new Java versions. A lot of companies still use Java 8, but then again, we're now Java 13 is coming up. You will find that there's the hype train, Kubernetes and whatever. And you'll also find that hopefully, and the guy put that into his question, are there any new great ideas about monoliths in Java? And my great idea is, yes, that monoliths in Java, especially for greenfield projects, are actually a good idea. And you shouldn't start out with just building a microservice landscape because Netflix did something or whatever, or Airbnb or whatever. So yes, build a good old monolith and split it up later. That's what's new, hopefully, and that's what's going to happen in the next couple of years, that people consider that the microservice landscapes they built are actually also quite complex to maintain. All right, how popular is Spring? Should I invest effort in learning it for the job market? The answer is popular. Yes, Spring is popular. Spring is also a big ecosystem, so it's not just Spring. Are you talking about core Spring, about dependency injection? Are you talking about Spring Boot? Are you talking about stuff like Spring Cloud or whatever? In any case, if you're a Java developer, the concepts of Spring, dependency injection, whatever. Hold true for many other frameworks. So yes, um, invest some effort in learning it for the job market. Right, these were three questions, three minutes. Um, I guess have a nice weekend. I hope you like that and keep the questions coming. Just post them to this video in the comment section, send, send me an email or whatever, and then I'll see you next week for some new questions.